Next, the Old Bailey's been told that a man arrested in Derby was preparing a jihadi terrorist attack on this country. Munir Mohammed's gone on trial with a pharmacist he met on a Muslim dating website. Well, the jury heard that they shared plans to make improvised bombs and the deadly poison ricin, and that chemicals for a powerful explosive were found at his home in Derby. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Munir Mohammed was arrested just before Christmas last year at his home here on Leopold Street. Today a jury heard he was preparing a lone wolf terrorist attack. The police found violent extremist videos and bomb making instructions along with hydrogen peroxide and hydrochloric acid, two of the three components of a high explosive called TATP. Today he went on trial with Roeda El Hassan, a pharmacist from London. She's accused of sharing instructions to help him build an improvised explosive device or to make ricin poison from castor oil. They've both denied preparing acts of terrorism. And the jury heard Munir Mohammed used Facebook to send messages to an Islamic State commander requesting a job in the UK. He also asked for a recipe for dough for Syrian bread. That was code, the prosecution said, for an explosive that looked like plasticine. He went to this superstore in Sponden for domestic products that contain the chemicals he needed. He also bought acetone-free nail polish here. The prosecution say that was a mistake because acetone was the final ingredient he needed for TATP. And at this discount store in Normanton, the jury heard that he asked about pressure cookers. Pressure cookers, the court was told, are suitable containers for improvised explosive devices. Manu Mohammed told the police the chemicals they found were for cleaning his alloy wheels and to treat burns from steam at Kerry Foods where he worked. And he said the extremist videos were to help him argue about the dangers of Islamic State. The trial's due to last for around a month. And Jeremy is in our London newsroom for us now. Jeremy, good evening to you. Um, now, I gather that some of the videos that Munir Mohammed shared were actually shown today. Yeah, the jury, Anne, was given just a taste of what were described as gruesome Islamic State videos. The prosecution say this is propaganda used to justify violence. And what's interesting is they're very slick but they show really horrific footage of prisoners being murdered. In one, for instance, we saw three children preparing to execute three prisoners. Another one's filmed in a kitchen. It looks like a professional TV cooking show, but then the presenter comes on wearing a balaclava and army fatigues. And what he's cooking up is that TATP explosive. OK, Jeremy, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you.